up, coming back to pain. I see this happening all the time too. And it took me a long time to shift away from this concept, putting less emphasis on pain. A person will come and see you and they will always say, Kasal, um, Kasal, I've, I've got pain. Can you help me? Now, during my younger years, I would say, okay, let's get rid of the pain. And what it always did was it always concentrated on getting the pain levels down. Um, I remember uh, as, a, as a young physio and I was working in Singapore, I had graduated uh, from the University of Melbourne uh, way back in uh, 99, uh, 1999, and uh, one of my first jobs, uh, I worked in orthopedic outpatients in uh, the Singapore General Hospital. And uh, this point came to light when I had one person who had... Um, he had a total knee replacement. And with the total knee replacement, he was, he was swollen, um, he couldn't walk, he was on crutches, and he would always say, Kasal, I'm in pain. And back in the day, uh, electrotherapy, so interferentials, using interferentials was the big thing. And um, I thought, great. I know that during my training, uh, I found that using the interferential helped with pain and it helped with swelling. And uh, I thought, okay, let's try this. And over a period of time, and I can say it was a period of about three weeks, twice a week, I was just trying to reduce the person's pain. Did I achieve anything? No. Because I had one of my senior physiotherapists, um, I was away that day and she had taken uh, over the treatment of uh, this gentleman and um, she said, Kasal, over the last few weeks you've just been doing the interferential. Why is that? I said, well, I want to help his pain. And she said, have you ever thought about where this pain could be coming from? What if you think about where or why this pain is occurring in the first place? I mean, that was me six, uh, six, uh, literally six months after I had graduated. It was a very, very steep learning curve. Now, I had to put less emphasis on pain. What does that mean? What it means is a person will come in and say, Kasal, I've got pain. Can you help my pain? Now, that is the only thing an athlete or a, or a patient can go by because it's something... They, it's a warning signal from their body saying something's not right. But it is their reference point. This is the patient's reference point. Your reference point is, well, you've got pain, right? But what is it stopping you from doing? Or, what is it, what is it stopping you from doing? What things can't you do? Or what things are more difficult for you to do now because of your pain? You as a practitioner, if you determine that, you don't have to worry about this. And when you determine things that a person can't do, that is much more objective. Because you've got a functional task, you've got uh, functional um, tests that a person can't do or have difficulty with, therefore you can measure those. But pain, you can't measure it, can you? The only person who can measure pain is guess who? The patient. And you obviously can measure it with their help using the VAS scale. Uh, but if you don't put emphasis on pain, but you put emphasis on the functional things that they can't do or they have difficulty with, you're going to be on the right track. So try that out. When a person comes in next time, and they say, oh, goodness, you know, I've got this low back pain. It is absolutely killing me. Um, you can say, all right, great. Well, don't say great. You can say, all right. You can say, look, where is this problem headed? Or what are the things that you can't do because of your pain? Um, where would you like to be when... Uh, where would you like to be when this pain's gone? What would you like to do if you didn't have this pain? So you're taking this person, you're not 
thinking about the pain as such. You're looking at the things they want to achieve and you're looking at the things that they'd like to achieve. 